Hi, I'm Suzanne Schütz, and this is Cat Sounds Explained by Cat Lady Sweden. And this time we're going to talk about the meow. Cats meow when they want attention or help. And this can be in both positive and negative contexts. It can be that the cat is happy but hungry and wants some food or wants to be let inside or outside. It can be that the cat wants our company, our affection or anything else really. So meowing is the most common human directed cat vocalization. The possible meaning is, of course, I want your attention. But depending on the context, the situation, it can be I need help. I'm hungry, let me inside, let me outside, I'm lonely, I'm bored, I'm confused. But basically you can look at the situation, if the cat is meowing, you can see what resources the cat may be wanting and you can just put that after I want, <laughs> I want the toy, I want the treats, I want some food and so on. And the body postures and movements which accompany meowing, of course, also vary with the situation. But quite often the ears are directed forward and there is eye contact. The cat looks at the listener and at the resource and goes back and forth. You can quite often, just by looking at the cat's eye movement, see what the cat wants. Some more facts about meowing. Meowing is produced typically by an opening, closing mouth gesture. And depending on the degree of mouth opening, the cat can produce different types of vowel sounds because there are several vowels in a typical meow. The length can vary as well, can be quite short, under half a second, but it can also be long, up to one second, sometimes even longer. And it is a voiced sound, the vocal folds are vibrating, but there is a wide individual and situational variation in the pitch and also in the voice quality. And that depends, of course, on the situation. If it's a food, play, veterinarian, the cat has been isolated for long, or also the mental or emotional state of the cat. If the cat is calm or agitated, if it's content or discontent, if it's stressed, if it's focused and so on. But also on the individual cat, the sex, age, breed, size and even personality of the cat. If I were to categorize meowing phonetically, I would say that it's typically combined vowel sounds, two or three, and sometimes it has an initial consonant like an m or w kind of sound. But there is much variation, so if I were to imitate meowing, I would say it can sound a bit like meow or meow or even wah. And if you look at these pictures, the same cat, but you can see the front teeth, the lower teeth, because the tongue is retracted, but here the tongue is covering the front lower teeth. So depending on what kind of meowing the cat produces, there are different vowel sounds. In this video here, you can see that the cat articulates meowing with an opening closing gesture. I'll play it again. And in slow motion. As I said, there's much variation in meowing. And based on my phonetic analyses, I've found at least four subtypes. The first one is the mew, which is produced with an opening closing mouth. It's often quite short, it's very high pitched and often has E qualities. Wee, mew. And kittens do this, they mew to get attention or help from their mother. But adult cats sometimes when they are stressed or in distress or even when they want to sound like small kittens, they can mew as well. The second subtype is the squeak or quack. It often ends with an open mouth, so it is a short sound. It can be either high or low pitched. It's often breathy or hoarse in voice quality and can be nasal even. And the vowel sounds are often like an eh kind of vowel, like wah. Or meow. Squeaking is often used in very friendly or even intimate situations to solicit attention and affection. The third subtype is moaning, has an opening closing mouth, but the longest part of the moan is often the final part, so this, you can say that the stress is on the final vowel of moaning. It has a fairly low or even falling pitch with an o or u vowel quality, like or wow, and it's used to get help when the cat is 
discontent or stressed, or when it's complaining about something. The fourth subtype is the typical meow. So it's an all-round meow sound, has an opening closing mouth, but often the longest part or the stress is on the initial vowel. So compared to moaning, meowing has its stress at the beginning of the sound. And often meowing is a combination of two or more vowel sounds like meow or wow. And meowing, as I said, it's used in many situations. It's an all-round type of meow to get food, to get you to open the door if the cat needs your company and so on. So let's go into these subtypes now. The first one is the mew and I will play you two examples of that. And I'll play them again. The first one is from a kitten and the other one is from an adult cat. And in the first video to the left you will see some kittens mewing. And to the right, we have Vimsan who mews because she wants me to open the door. Also quite high pitched. Now the second subtype, the squeak or the quack. The squeak to me is more high pitched and the quack or even creak is more low pitched and hoarse. And I will first play you two audio examples of squeaks. Now in this video to the left, it's Rocky who's feeling quite friendly. He's walking around purring, but he manages to squeeze in a few squeaks or quacks just to say that he needs my attention. He needs me to stay in the room with him. In the video to the right, you can hear Turbo quacking. It's more hoarse, it's more low pitched, and it looks and sounds like this. Now the moan is this subtype with a longer final vowel or the stress on the final vowel. And I'll play you two audio examples of moaning. And I have quite a few videos for you here. This first one is Donna who's moaning because she's quite afraid of Red, whom she's seeing for the first time. And it sounds like this. <coughs> and in the next video, we can see the cat Moses in his cat carrier. And he's not happy about that, so he's moaning. And you can see the articulation opening closing gesture here. <coughs> I'll play it in slow motion for you. And in the next video, we have Compis in his cat carrier, and he's moaning like this. <coughs> and finally, we have Grey White in her cat carrier, who's also moaning. It's quite a hoarse moan in this case, because Grey White has a very hoarse personal voice quality, so all her sounds are quite hoarse. <coughs> now, the fourth subtype, the meow, is the typical meow with the opening closing mouth gesture often with the initial vowel being longer or having more stress and it is a combination of several vowels and i have two audio examples of meowing so you can listen to the large variation within this subtype as well and in the first video you can see rocky who wants to be let inside so he's meowing at me uh, next to the door sounds like this and you can see this in slow motion as well and perhaps you can see that inside his mouth the tongue is moving backwards towards the end to produce different vowel sounds now in the next video we have Zoran the cat who's hungry and therefore he's meowing and you can see the articulation here as well and in slow motion. The tongue is retracting again to produce two vowel sounds. Now in the final video to the right, you can see Compis, who's hungry, is waiting for his food, and when he sees me, he starts to meow. 
several times and it sounds like this. The final sound was a trill because this was a kind of greeting sound as well. There are some combinations with meowing as well. The most common one is the trill meow, which is a combination of a trill and a meow. So it's a complex vocalization. I think it's a very friendly way to say that I want your attention because trilling is this friendly cat sound. And also, as it begins with a low-pitched trill, the melody is always rising, which makes it a very friendly and requesting type of sound. I have two audio examples of trill meowing for you to begin with. They sound like this. And I have some videos as well. The first one is Donna, who wants me to play with her. And as she is trying to be very friendly, it starts with a short trill. It sounds like this. To the left down here, we have Compis, who is trill meowing because he wants a treat. You can hear the rising melody. Me. And finally, to the right, we have Turbo, who is trill meowing as well, because he wants some food for me. There are more meow variations. There are multisyllable meows, meows which have interruptions in between them. So they're almost like several words put together. I find them really interesting. And I have an audio example of several syllable meowing here. And... In the video to the left, we have Rocky, who has a two-syllable meow because he wants to be let inside. Sounds like this. <coughs> to the right, we have a video of a merged meow with trilling. And sometimes meowing can be merged with purring as well. Sounds like this. <coughs> there are even more variations with meowing. One is the yowl or mating call, which which sometimes is called meowing, sometimes is called yowling. And I have an example here where Red is calling for a mate and is meowing and then yowling, which is sort of darker. It's produced further back in the mouth and it's louder as well. It looks and sounds like this. two last ones were yowls or mating calls. Sometimes in elderly cats especially, when a cat becomes confused, has some sort of dementia or cognitive dysfunction even, you can hear these meowing sounds which sound a bit different like yowling even. And I have this beautiful video which was made by Eva Oertenberg. So thank you for letting me put this video on my website. I have a short excerpt of it here, but you can see the whole video uh, using this link. And the first one is a yowl, this mental confusion type of meow. But then she sees that Eva is filming her, so she meows in a slightly different way. I hope you can hear the difference. It sounds like this. So the last meow was more typical meow, but the first one was this, I'm confused, I need some help here. So to sum up, meowing is the most common human-directed and attention-seeking cat sound. And there is much variation, but quite often the mouth is opening and closing, and there are two or more vowel sounds involved, like wow, meow. And it's used to get our attention and our help. There are several subtypes with much variation within each subtype, the mew, the squeak, the moan, and the meow. And of course, there are combinations. I'm going to finish off by playing you a short video of Donna, who's purring and meowing, in this case, squeaking at the same time. I just love when she does that. <laughs> You can read more about meowing and other sounds in my book, The Sacred Language of Cats, which is available in several languages. Or you can visit my project website, meowzik.se, where you can listen to and look at more examples of meowing and other cat sounds. Thanks for watching Cat Sounds Explained by Cat Lady Sweden.